everyone that's gotten them to Twix again. Um, so I haven't made a video in a while, and I know Revenant is no longer the newest character. Um, but I don't play support a lot, so I can't speak that well to FaZe. And I don't want to mislead anyone. But I'm going to talk today about a character that I know a lot about, um, which is Revenant. Um, my win percentage has got steadily better, better, and better with him. My kills, my assists, all of that is very high compared to my death. And a lot of that is because of my evolving deck that I've been making for him. So, early game with this deck, I call it my Penetration Destruction. Um, it's Health Potion, Mana Potion, and a Strike Token. After that, you start out with the Madstone Gem with 3 card power upgrade. Um, it very quickly allows you to do more damage with your Obliterate ability. Keeps you in the fight a little longer. You have a bit more punch early game. Okay. Then after that, in a normal game, you'll want to go with the second Madstone Gem. Again, more of an attack boost. More of an attack boost. The more you can get Obliterate to scale, the, the d more devastating it will be. Okay. Then after that, in a normal game, I would be going with Sorcerer Ward. You're getting a little bit of lifesteal, some ability pen, more power, and more so than anything else, you're getting wards, um, which are a major thing, in my opinion, for Revenant, because he really needs them without the escape, the lack of escape. FaZe has given him a bit more variety in that way, but even then, FaZe is not always going to be there. And let's be honest, all FaZe players are not great at being support. Okay, they'll pull you out of fights that you should not be pulled out of. They'll throw you into fights that you should not be thrown into. Okay, so with this, the wards help you minimize that. And they help you decide, do I want to engage? Do I want to do a showdown with someone? Do I want to isolate someone? Whatever it happens to be. Then normally after that, I would go with Curse of the Leech. Um, again, upgrading your lifesteal and your attack power. Um, a lot of people... I think, how do I put this? A lot of people think that Revenant doesn't really need the lifesteal. At least from what I've experienced. I'm only Silver League. I'm working my way up. I'm solo queuing it though, so it's it's a rough go. If anyone wants to play, drop me a gamer tag at the end of this video. I'll be sure to add you and we can party up and play and, and get going. Um, just look at my KDA if you're wondering about how good I can do in the kill department and also how many towers I've destroyed and everything else. So, Curse of the Leech is normally next. Helps you stay in the fight longer. Helps you get back into a fight. Um, so if you take some damage, you kill the hero. Attack the minions. Attack some jungle minions. Get back to full health. Re-engage. Okay? Now, after that, I would start with the most expensive meltdown i know this is about when we're starting mid game but the boost i get from this card is well worth the fact that it's being upgraded in the middle of the game okay this is really when um eyes revenant start racking up kills start getting kill streaks start pushing my lane super heavy and going over and assisting other lanes and helping them push their lanes okay so you upgrade this then you'll go with the next meltdown one of these two your choice okay and at this point you will have discarded madstone gem 2 before you start your second meltdown card okay so that will also give you some card point power to put towards these okay and then you'll end with your selection your selection of meltdown the cheapest one or the most expensive one okay and then you'll be getting rid of your last madstone gem and going with the chrono spike now the some people disagree that Revenant needs Chrono Spike, but I tend to think it's a good thing. It's 10% cooldown reduction. If I can throw more Obliterate into a fight and marking and scarring them, not marking them, scarring them, um, if I can get those abilities to activate more often, I have a much better chance of racking up majorly in kills and helping my allies push lanes and helping me stay alive. Okay. I can't tell you how many times I've entered into a fight that I learned very quickly I wouldn't wouldn't win. But I was able to do a showdown with my opponent. I was able to kill my opponent and I was able to escape 
Um, and a lot of that had to do with the life steal, the amount of damage, but also the chrono spike. If I'm able to scar someone every four seconds or so, they have a lot of difficulty trying to withstand that. Particularly when all of my abilities are upgraded to maximum and there's so much damage that I'm dishing out because of the scaling on the damage charts. Okay, so that's why I recommend. Now, some people may wonder, why do you have Shadow Scroll? You haven't talked about it. So this is the only time I use Shadow Scroll. If you are playing a game and you very quickly start getting fed, um, so you upgrade your first Madstone Gem, two points for the card, three for the upgrade, I would recommend upgrading Shadow this Shadow Scroll next. Okay? If you can just make that leap right away to this, it tends to be pretty effective in my experience. Now, it is an expensive card. It's a card that you may get rid of later on. I mean, this and Meltdown have pretty much, I mean, if you look, apart the exact same stat line, apart from um, Shadow Scroll gets you a bit more ability pen. So you can also use it if you're versing an ability armor team. I mean, it gets you a bit more push, a bit more punch. Um, I tend not to use it because I just like the Meltdown cards because they get my attack power up even higher and I'd rather go with that than getting an extra 4 ability penetration, but that's just me. Um, but early game, I have found myself using that Shadow Scroll. Just with the upgrade damage than the upgraded ability penetration, any minor ability armor an opposing character may have early game will now get totally shredded by the majority of my abilities. Okay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, that's all I got for today. Keep gaming, Paragoners. God bless, and make sure to check out a lot of my other videos.